a real quick video I'm making. I told people I would uh, make a little more in-depth of a video about this RC uh, golf bag carrier. So the electronics we get the receiver obviously we got a uh, ESC that's well, it's like a two-in-one ESC, um, and it's meant to control two outputs, and this auto mixes them. So you don't need to do any programming, you don't need to do anything. You just plug in the ESC to the uh, normal channel 2 um, ESC port on the receiver, and instead of plugging in a servo, you plug in this yellow uh, steering lead. And that tells the ESCs what you're trying to do as far as steering goes, and this ESC automatically mixes. Um, so, like I said, there's no programming of the remote, and I did it that way because this is the remote that I wanted to use. Uh, I wanted it to be very simple. I could have obviously done the same thing with the um, you know, a Radio Master TX16S or something, or pretty much anything that's uh, Open TX or anything like that, and did it like a plane. But I couldn't do that because I needed this to be able to be controlled with one hand with a very small, very simple radio. And this is literally just one joystick, uh, and there's like extra buttons for other channels too. It's a six channel um, receiver, and this. This radio does six channels, but I only needed two. I needed throttle and steering. And that's it. And it had to be this simple, tiny thing. Which means it had to be an ESC that mixed the steering by itself um, with zero programming. So, yep, that's why I did it that way. Um, and then the rest of these are a light switch and a circuit breaker. And then, obviously, the power wire. So, that's on and dying. This is really hard to do with one hand. What am I stuck on? Let's see if I can plug this in with one hand. Uh, oh yeah, so I'm using a 2S LiPo. And the reason why it's 2S is because that ESC does in between 2 and 6S. And I did 6S at first, but this thing was way too fast. Um, so I bumped it down to 3S, and that was a tiny bit too fast, so I put it down to 2S. Light switch on there. See if I can. And this radio even has cruise control. So you put it at the speed that you want to go, and you click that button at the front, that OK button, and now it's following you without you having to do anything. And you click it again, and it stops it. Now uh, there is obviously steering. There's forwards, and there's drivers. And the motors that are in here, um, the motors are actually the size of this giant tube right here. They're about from there to about there. They're enormous. They're these huge, geared, extremely torquey um, motors, rush motors. 
um, and that was also a, a huge problem. Since these are brushed motors, and since I wanted to use the stock motors because they're great, um, I had to find a brushed ESC, so that took forever. This thing, finding the parts, took me exponentially longer than it took me to actually build the freaking thing. Um, what else? What else? Mm, I'm trying to do this quick because I'm at work. Uh, oh yeah, on these batteries. So, this is the charger that I was using. This is an ISDT P30. Awesome, awesome charger. I freaking love this thing. But, this uh, golf bag carrier is for my boss. And my boss would rather have simple than fun. So instead, I bought an 8.4 volt, oh, you can see right there, 8.4 volt, 2 amp, uh, lithium ion battery charger. And it has a little light. It's green when you, when it's good, when it's charged. It's red when it's charging. And then all I did in here was add um, a barrel jack so you can plug this in and a BMS to control the balancing and all the safety features like uh, low voltage cutoff and all that type of stuff. So these are hard case lipos. All I did was crack open the case, um, take the cells out, uh, undo all the wiring, hook all the wiring up to the BMS, hook this main output wire to the main output wire of the BMS, add the barrel jack that is in parallel with uh, the output, and yeah, that's it. So now, in order to charge these batteries, all you do is plug them into the wall. No programming, no setting any settings, you just plug them in, wait for it to be done. And I made two of them. So. While one is in use, one can be charging, and then they can be swapped. Um, what else? What else? So, I wanted the switch to be illuminated so you could tell when it's on. Uh, that was actually kind of a pain in the dick. Um, but that's going. 25 amp circuit breaker. Um, yeah, I think that's basically it. And now I will make... Uh, a real quick part of this video of me showing it drive. Alright. That's already on. That's on. full throttle. So yeah, there you go. There's my invention. And remote control golf bag carrier with proportional uh, steering and throttle. And even though this is only a 2S, these motors are extremely torquey. Oops, I'm not even pointing at it. There is enough torque in this thing for me to stand on it, and it'll work perfectly fine. So it'll definitely pull the golf bag. I'm almost 300 pounds. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. There's the video.